on. But in the meantime, okay. is the EPA killing our economy? Today on Capitol Hill, the head of the EPA, Lisa Jackson, was in the hot seat. Looming EPA regulations threaten closings of several power plants in West Virginia and the loss of hundreds of jobs. But Jackson said the new rules will actually help the economy. Really? How does that work again? Joining us now is one of the committee members, Senator James Inhofe. Sir, I watched the testimony. It was fantastic. I saw uh, you and Barbara Boxer get into it for a little while, and then I listened to Lisa Jackson. But she was saying, you know what? Her son has asthma, and, and therefore, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't uh, drill our own oil or, or produce our own power. You know, I, I think we got the point across. Well, first of all, this, I just heard this thing with Juan. I can't believe they're still trying to blame the Bush administration for these problems that we have. We've got to remind people, in the eight years of Bush, the total amount of deficit, and that was when we, he started with a weakened defense and had a war on two fronts, was uh, $2 trillion. And in only three budgets of Obama, and it's $5 trillion. I, I, just, I just don't understand how they can get by with that. And how many people out there believe it? I don't think they'll continue to do it. But back to today's hearing. I have to live with this stuff all the time. And you've probably heard me say, look, how can you say logically that all we have to do is, is quit drilling and then we'll be less, uh, less dependent upon foreign countries for our oil? Right now, we have the most recoverable reserves in coal, oil, and gas of any country in the world. All we have to do is exploit our own, and we wouldn't have to, we wouldn't have to import a barrel of oil from the Middle East. Now, the cost of this thing is incredible. A lot of people talk about, yes, it's the spending that's a big problem. It's the regulations just as much. And let me throw this out. Of just the regulations that we had in the uh, committee hearing today, they amount to a, a cost of about a trillion dollars. Uh, for example, the uh, cap and trade regulations, that's going to be between 300 and 400 billion dollars if they get by with it. Now, you add it all up, all these overregulations, ozone, the emissions and all that, it comes to a trillion dollars. The smart people say, and nobody disagrees with this, Eric, that for every 1% increase in, in a G, a GDP, it translates into $50 billion of new revenue. So if you figure this amounts to 3.5% of GDP, that's between $150 and $200 billion that it's costing us for all this fun that Barbara Boxer and, and the administration are, are having. And, Senator, and Senator should, can we just point talk about that. Can we point out for our audience, when you talk about the $300 and $400 billion for the cap and trade and the other six or $700 billion, we're talking oh. an annual cost. And, and first of all, am I right about that? Yeah, you're right about that. And let me tell you the genesis of that. It goes back to the old bills that they had. It goes back, actually, to the Kyoto Treaty, then to the uh, McCain-Lieberman bills and the Markey bills and all that. Cap and trade is cap and trade. It doesn't matter if it's done legislatively or if it's done through administration. And the cost of that, according to the first one to come along, was the, the Wharton Econometric Survey. Then MIT came in. The cost range is between 300 400 billion dollars a year per year. That's right. a, and, and guess you know who what gets, that is? Guess who eats that? We guess who eats that, Senator? I'm sorry. Guess who eats that cost? Oh, what? The consumer, right? Everyone who's buying power oh, turns course. on the they light bulb. To, they have to pay for all this. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that's just one of four of the great regulations we're talking about. And I've been demanding that this committee have a hearing where we can talk about the cost of these regulations. And finally, we got it today, although our two witnesses were pretty mm. much, you know, bombarded if you watched this thing. I did. But the thing to remember is the cost of the regulations for every additional uh, $50 billion dollars. It, 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 or 1% of GDP amounts to $50 billion. Right. That right, right. is Senator, huge. Senator, we appreciate your time. Thank you for uh, jumping off uh, out of that committee meeting. It was really it was, it was a great meeting. <laughs> Fascinating. Right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Eric. All right, let's bring it out to